Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple youth target bow. Just something really simple. Uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need a four foot long, uh, three quarter inch inner diameter schedule 40 PVC pipe. And I like using the uh, white plumbing pipe for this one. So what you want to do is you want to mark the center. And then you want to measure and mark two inches away from the center in either direction. And then on the ends, you want to measure in six inches. You can see that. So this bow we're building is going to be a youth recurve. Just really simple, nothing fancy. So other things you're going to need, you're going to need a flattening jig, which I show in my video how to do. And then you're going to need a heat source. I like using this heat gun. You can use a stove top. And you're also going to need a pot or other similarly uh, cylindrical object that's about six to eight inches in diameter. It doesn't really matter what you use. You could use anything. I like using the pot. Um, all right, so let's get started. So, what you want to do to heat this up is to take your heat gun and just run it back and forth while moving the pipe in quarter turns. You could also do this on top of a stove top and I show how to do that in my uh, PVC horsebow video. So, we'll get started. What you want to do is once your pipe gets flexible, so it's doing that, you want to heat it up just a little bit more. And while you're doing your final heat, you want to just make sure that it's perfectly straight. And then what you want to do is you want to throw the flattening jig right on top of it and then apply weight. So you want to apply your weight to right about the middle of the limb. Right about the middle of the limb, yeah, right about there. Now you just got to let it sit for a little bit. And it's going to, after a little while, it's going to get cool. And it's going to harden up. So what you can do is you can move it a little bit to a different patch of ground which will be cooler. Alright, so now you can pop this off and there you see we've got the nice taper there but if it starts returning like that did right in the front there on the tip just apply pressure again because you want it to mainly cool down under here, but you still want it to be a little pliable so you can straighten it out if there are any kinks. Alright. So, now that it's nice and straight with a good taper, you want to just sight down it, make sure it's straight. Alright, it looks nice and straight. Okay, good. So now I just got to do the other side. Okay, so now that both limbs are flattened and the bow is coming together, what you want to do is you want to heat up the handle so we can make it more comfortable to grip. And so another thing we're going to do is, if you see here, there's this hard crease that came from our our, uh, our flattening jig. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat it up until this puffs out. And that's going to be an indicator of when this handle is soft enough to 
flex. So we're going to turn on the heat gun. And you just want to, you know, you want to turn the bowl over rapidly like this. You don't keep it in one spot too long. But you do kind of want to concentrate a little bit on these sections right here. Okay, so now that you see that the handle is not only really flexible, but the creases are gone. So what you want to do is you want to cut the heat, then you want to take your hand, cover it in a towel or, or a uh, pot holder, and then what you want to do is you want to just flatten it like this. see you just want to flatten it not too much but just enough so it becomes comfortable for somebody to hold and then now what you want to do is once this is about there you want to sight down and make sure that it's straight across so that you know you don't want it to be crooked especially because we're going to be putting a recurve in the tips. And then what you want to do is you want to set it down and just reinforce that right there. Let it sit for a little bit. Occasionally pick it up and make sure that it's straight. But other than that, you want to just set it down because what will happen is the limbs will go back just a little bit to give you a little bit of reflex, I mean a deflex in the handle. That's going to make it a little smoother to shoot. And it's also going to compensate for the recurve we're going to be putting in. So, so once this is set, that's it. Here's your handle. So now we're going to work on the tips. All right. So now we're going to heat flex in our heat our recurves here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just gently heat this over the heat gun. Not until it starts puffing up, but just till it's soft enough to bend. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move the heat gun out of the way. And then we're going to take our towel and hold it against the pot and flex it to this line. So we get a nice curve around the pot. Alright, so let's turn on the heat gun and I'll show you what that looks like. Now you see, you can even the heat the whole thing, bend the whole thing, so turn off the heat gun, move it aside, take your pot, and then you want to press this into the pot, and you want to stop at that black line here, so if you can see how this is bent around. Well, it's still a little warm, so this is what it's going to look like. So, while it's still a little warm, just want to look down and make sure that it's straight with the rest of the boat. Right now, it's in line. So, so now you just repeat that on the other side. Alright, so now that you've recurved your tips, you want to cut knocks into this. So you could do a variety of things. You could cut V notches in the sides. Um, what we're going to be doing today is that we're actually going to cut two quarter inch squares out of each corner and turn this into a pin. So once you've marked that, what you want to do is you want to cut it out. So this will become your knot. And your string will actually rest on top of this and it will come all the way around. Now if you're making a bunch of these for a group of kids, what you can do to save on time is you can actually just drill a hole in the top here. That way when you're stringing up these bows, you just tie a knot 
in your length of string, run it through to the other side, pull it tight until the bow is braced, and then tie a knot on the other side. And so, especially for kids, you know, if, if all you want is a, is a nice little shootable bow, then you can even just leave these strung permanently. So, now we're going to go string this up, and I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so, now that the bow is all finished, we just got to string it up. So what you want to do is you just want to take your string, put it on the bottom limb here, run it up in there, bring this against your uh, shin, tuck the handle into the back of your knee, and then push the top limb in, slip the top loop on, and step out of the bow. So here it is. So here's the finished youth bow. Now you'll notice one side is bending more than the other. The side that's bending a little more will be the top limb. So now that we know which limb is top, you just hold it here along this line. And then drop back. So that's it. And it's a lighter weight bow. You know, I'd say 30, 35 pounds. And, you know, this bow's great for kids and youth. And another great thing about it is that it's, it's a really tough bow. You know, you can wrap it around. You know, it can, it can take a little bit of abuse. So here it is. And, uh, you know, make one or a couple dozen and enjoy. Thank you for watching my video.